Hi, my name is Alexander. I am eight years old. If you had one wish. Running really fast. Why do you want to run really fast? Because so I can catch up to everyone. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I am going to visit a doctor far away in Columbus who's going to help me. What day is it, do you know? I've seen a lot of doctors, but my parents say Dr. Kevin Flanagan is special. He is doing something no one else is doing. There's a lot of routes forward here and a lot of promise today that we didn't have just just five or ten years ago. So our goal is to keep children walking as long as they can. I was a Christmas baby. One of the happiest moments uh, of our lives, uh, you know, our first. His first steps, what a moment for a parent to witness. I never dreamed I'd ever have to worry my son's steps would end. It really just started as just seeing him a little slower in the playground, couldn't climb. He'd rather play in the sand and play with sand toys. I see him walking on his toes. And my daughter came along, and when she was around two, she was sort of running circles around him. I would tell my pediatrician all of these things, and he was never concerned. He always said, he'll catch up, don't worry, don't worry. They wanted us to go see an orthopedic, and we had to go first to our doctor to get a referral. And that's the first time, the first day we ever heard the words dystrophy. That's like the worst day of your entire life after they've diagnosed your son and they come in and, and this neurologist who you've met, you know, an hour before that is basically giving you this, you know, it's almost like a death sentence they're reading you. It was just kind of a slow motion all the way through we got the actual final di diagnosis which was over the phone, our doctor was away and it was just, you know, trying to hold it together with our son 10 feet away, so. It's so overwhelming, you can't breathe and you don't, you know, because of course they're reading you, they're telling you way too much information at once and you can't process it. What do you want to be when you grow up? I don't, a basketball player. For us, he's the strongest person we know. I mean, I look at him, he's the happiest kid you'll ever see in your entire life. He's always smiling. He knows he can't keep up with the other kids. He knows he can't do, he can't climb, he can't run fast. But he's content and happy with watching other kids and he knows his limitations, which is, is amazing. So, we knew we have to be strong. Get your bag, Alex. We can't sit around. We have to take action. So we're leaving Los Angeles and flying across the country to Columbus, Ohio, on what could be the most important trip of our lives. To Delafield. We're it? meeting the scientists who could save Alexander's life. It's all happening here at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Ohio. Exxon 5. This is the man behind the science, Dr. Kevin Flanagan. Duchenne is a complicated disease with many different mutations. Dr. Flanagan is working on a groundbreaking therapy which one day could deliver a therapeutic virus into kids like Alexander. This therapy could change the blueprint of the dystrophin gene, which is what my son is missing and what causes the degeneration of his muscles. Most Duchenne boys have deletions of a series of exons. You know, we've got 79 exons and they're missing a series of them. He has a, a duplication of number two. In most cases of Duchenne dystrophy, uh, the way they're spliced together uh, leaves the blueprint unreadable. Dr. Flanagan has already shown success with this in his lab, and his work could potentially help kids with any mutation under exon 5, like Alexander. We can completely skip out exon 2. We don't have to make a perfectly normal gene construct, we can skip it all the way out and we get this highly functional protein. The time is now to raise money and to get this treatment into FDA approved clinical trials as soon as possible. We don't have 
billions and billions of dollars in advertising money and we have a hospital named after this and we've got celebrities doing commercial. We don't have that. We don't have awareness and we don't have the funding that other diseases have and we need to get there. Cure to Shin really recognized early on the importance of this work and we're really where we are today, really we wouldn't be there without their support of their foundation. Our hope, honestly, like really, it's funny, right? Different parents, you know, the hopes when you first have a child is, you know, great grades, great school, married kids. Our hope is that he lives. <laughs> it's a simple hope, but it's a, it's a big one.